started a, a, about 10 seconds early a couple of times. And well, right now, we're live. <laughs> we're live. We're live. So welcome to the Lunch Bunch at the Spiritual Neighborhood. The Spiritual Neighborhood is a grassroots community project of the Council of Families for Children dedicated to the quality of life for the mind, body, and spirit, and the integration of a healthy, happy human being. Today we have Sarah Bench. Gail, why don't you tell us a little bit about Yay. her? <laughs> well, welcome, Sarah. We're so excited to have you. Um, I know Sarah through her mom, PJ Spur, um, and I've known her for several years, but it's been the past almost two years when your mom started Coffee and Cards, where I really got to know you and see your work and attend events where you have helped the community raise money for a certain organization, nonprofit organizations. And so, and I, I have supported that by buying some of your wonderful <laughs> bracelets. I love them and I'm looking forward to my, my next one. But really, um, we are really excited about having you because we really consider you one of our good deed doers because you, yep. you do this out of a lot of passion and love from your heart. So, but tell everybody how your company is called Beaded Bench. Bench is your last name. And Let's story. spell that, please. Spell that. Spell it. Beaded. E oh, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. It's yours. B is in boy. E A D E D. Last name is Bench. B is in boy. E N C H. Because see, it didn't sound like that when Gail said it, and I just wanted to make sure they understood that right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I say a lot of things a little bit off. I mean, like my, my family makes fun of me with my language. It's that southern accent. <laughs> um, but everybody can always go to a spiritual neighborhood page because we have service information there. So explain to everybody what really got you started and what you're doing. So I started um, almost probably right at two years ago. Um, my mom and my stepdad owned a jewelry store whenever I was a kid. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of, you know, I kind of saw my mom make stuff and she always kind of liked it as, you know, obviously it was a business, but she liked it as kind of a stress reliever too. Um, it's really fun to kind of tinker with the different parts and, you know, kind of create something that's beautiful, but maybe also purposeful too. And so, um, Two years ago, I um, I had three different friends going through different things. One was starting a business, one was, had just lost her father, and the other was going through a divorce. And so I went to my mom and I said, Mom, I really want to make my friend some bracelets, some beaded bracelets with, you know, you've helped me with the stones. And she helped, she literally helped me write out a card so that they knew every stone that was on the bracelet, um, what the properties were, how it was going to help them. Um, and then I, so I made those, so my friends were like, oh my gosh, how did you, you know, do this? And this is so sweet and kind. And, um, then I got my, my mom, I bought some more materials to make a Mother's Day gift. And I kind of was like, I have some extra materials. I'm going to make some new, you know, just some extra things. Well, of course, the power of social media, um, I start posting them on social media and some friends at work and, um, my friend Aria was actually my very first customer. Um, so that's really, really a, kind of a fun memory, but, um, I started posting them and people were like, Hey, is that for sale? Can I buy that? And I was kind of taken aback. I was like, you want to give me money for Yay! something I made? <laughs> okay, sure. You know? And so I, I didn't know what to charge. And, um, so I kind of, you know, just, and then of course I would make stuff for my friend, for my daughter's, uh, friends for their birthdays, little, you know, just little kid bracelets. Um, so I started doing, you know, kind of like, it's like an elastic beaded bracelet. Um, they can look kind of rustic. They can look fancier. I mean, I kind of have different, you know, different, um, lines per se, but, um, super durable. I have one customer. He wore his for two years. Wow. And he never took it off. Never took it off. And he was, so it finally, it finally broke. He was doing something at the gym. He was like, it was not your bracelet. It was totally me. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so it's, so it's kind of more, so now I have, like I have a grief bracelet um, and it comes with a printed card with all of the stones used. Um, I have, oh gosh, I have a self-esteem bracelet um, with, you know, just different stones. Um, I've kind of morphed into, I make earrings now with stones. I'm wearing, these are Powlite, um hoops. Those and are they're, pretty, they're pretty, like, pretty. They're star cut, so they kind of catch lights differently. So they're kind of, you know, kind of boho. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just it's kind of evolved, and it's 
crazy that I've been doing this almost um, two years. So, and I ran a, I kind of ran like a Facebook post and I said, hey, I need to name this business. Friends and family, give me ideas. And, um, and so one of my best friends, mother-in-laws, uh, she said, how about the beaded bench? Oh. And so I took off the, and I just, you know, now it's just beaded bench. But, um, so I ended up making her a free stack for choosing, obviously, the name. And, um, you know, I, I love to gift my jewelry. Um, we're building a new house. And our design consultant, I gave her jewelry yesterday just as a thank you. Um, I gave a take a girl who took my takeout order last week. I gave her some jewelry. I just love to just you know spread it, you know, and especially in this time when there's so much uncertainty and there's so much stress and anxiety and you know, I mean, everyone can just use a little pick me up. Um, so I so my sister saw something um, that a business in Fort Worth was doing um, where. Every time you buy a candle, they will send a candle to someone um, of your choosing. Um, and so I thought, thought, you know what? I'm going to do a buy one, share one thing. And so um, I'm actually doing, I'm not, you don't have to buy a bracelet, but you can buy anything, any item from my online store, custom item, whatever. And then um, I, will, I will send, I will, I'll pay for shipping. I make the bracelet, you know, don't charge you. And I send a bracelet. Um, I don't have one of the little cards with me, but... I typed up kind of a quote um, and put like a rainy cloud on it that just said, you know, through the storm, you know, you're going to get through this. And, you know, this, this little, you know, kind of pick me up gift was given to you by, and there's a blank. And then I fill in the name of, you know, whoever is sending it. So um, my first round of buy one, share one should be being received any day now. So I'm interested to see if, you know, if people post and, you know, share and, um, you know, it's just something, you know, just something small that, you know, you can do. I mean, you, you, you could buy a $10 pair of earrings and the bracelets were $15. So, I mean, it's a, it's a really nice gift just to send to someone, you know, and just let them know that, that they're being thought of and that you, know, you care about them and, and that kind of a thing. So. Okay. So I have a real quick question because I'm, cause I'm, I'm so excited. So when you say that you customize, do you customize by, like, I tell you I want all green color, or can I say, look, I have a child who's, uh, my granddaughter lost her mother, and I'm thinking, man, can you, is there something that you could make for her that would help her feel grounded and help her with her grief process? I mean, she's doing great, but something that will just help fill in some of that gap spiritually and energetically, what would you recommend on that? So my grief bracelet, my five-year-old, sorry. Hi, five-year-old. Hi. Um, so my grief bracelet is made with picture jasper, um, which is a really oh. cool brown stone. It looks kind of wood, like wood. Um, and that is really, really good for releasing deep, hidden grief. Um, I also, you know, I use rose quartz, which helps just promote love, whether that's self-love, relationships. Yeah any kind of love that you may need. Um, I always tell, like, people are always like, rose quartz is gonna, it's for, you know, it's for fertility. And I'm like, but it's so much more than that too. It's not, mm -hmm. you know, so. Um, Lapidolite is um, a great stone. I love it's that very stone. very pretty, um, kind of purple, um, kind of has a little bit of like, sh like sparkle to it almost. Um, and that contains lithium which is the mineral found in antidepressant medication. And we were talking about that the other oh, day with mineral wells in the crazy that's water. Word. That's yes. exactly right. Lithium. Uh, there's a synergy yeah. going on with our guest here. I love it. <laughs> love it. So, no. But yes, so I do, I do tons of custom stuff. I mean, I, people message me and just say, hey, I have a friend going through this. You know, what do you recommend? And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to tell you what the stones are, and I'm just going to create something. Um, and then I always send a picture, obviously, before I send it. Um, and knock on wood, I've never had anybody say, oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Um, I think people appreciate, you know, kind of the artisan, um, you know, mindset or kind of like the design efforts that go into it. Um, so I feel like, you know, people trust that I know what I'm talking about, but also that I have a, kind of an eye for design, too. So. 
I love what this. What are the other bracelets you have right now that is really cool besides the Greek bracelet? I love the Greek bracelet. It is the senior bracelet. How yes. cool. Our seniors are stuck at home. They can't celebrate. How cool for somebody to buy their senior, whether it's their daughter, their granddaughter, their niece, their sister, whatever, brothers, whatever, sending them a senior bracelet with the year on it and everything. Yeah. Right? Really cool. I um I got into doing um, name bracelets not too long ago. Um, somebody messaged me and said, "Hey, could you make this?" Absolutely. So I found these small little round alphabet beads. I have them in gold and silver. Oh. And so I started making name bracelets for moms. So like uh, one or two of my friends ordered them, and they have three kids. So they they each wear a bracelet with with each child's name on each bracelet. They're so cute. Um, well, one of my best friends, her cousin is a senior this year, um, star athlete. I mean, great kid and is just is missing out on everything about, you know, the spring part of the first senior year. And so I messaged the mom and I said, I'd really like to send Victoria a gift. Um, and so I chose to use Amazonite because. Um, oh, I love I, that. I love Amazonite. I do it's too. So, I, I call it my jeans and t-shirt stone because it's it's casual but then you could also throw on like a chunky bangle with it too. yeah and it could be dressed up dressed down um but i did so i did two bracelets for her one that said senior and then one that said 2020. um and so amazon i feel good stone you know just kind of soothe those emotions um and then obviously anything that you want you can add lava to and use your essential oils Okay, so we need to end this interview right now because I need to get on the website to order. Okay. <laughs> this one, it has, I, I did four lava stones, but you can do two. Oh. And they're on the back side of my wrist, so you don't even see them. But then you can smell your oils throughout the day. Go around sniffing yourself. I smell so good. Yes. And, and then every time you feel a little stress, come on, just start smelling your wrist. <laughs> Yeah, it really, really does work. I mean, the yeah. lava stones, those are amazing things. Yeah. And what she's talking about is absolutely correct. It really, you do this more than you realize. And it's yeah. right there. Well, yeah. and, and I even had a friend say, you know, hey, I love your stuff. I want to support you. I don't wear earrings or bracelets, but I love oils. Could you make me a necklace? I said, absolutely. So I made just a simple, just one lava stone on, you know, kind of like a straight pin. Super simple. She wears it all the time, and she can just drop or roll her oils on it, and there you go. Okay, seriously, I have so many I want to order right now. I can't <laughs> wait for us to be done here. I, I want one for my granddaughter, and I want one for my daughter-in-law, and I want one for my mother and my stepmother. Oh, my. Send me an email. Or I'm no, I'm calling you. When we get off of here, I'm calling you. Just wait by the phone. <laughs> okay. I want to mention something for people who are thinking of ordering. There's women's bracelets, there's men's bracelets, mm -hmm. there's children's bracelets, there's the stack collection, there's necklaces, and there's earrings. What's the stack collection? Explain that. So a stack is usually I, I say it's three or more bracelets. And so um, That's when mine. I have like, you know, a good amount of downtime, I like to design an entire stack. So Typically, a stack of three can start at like forty-five to forty-five to sixty, um, just depending on the on the stones used. Um, but that will allow you to buy three bracelets that you can wear all together. You could break them up, but um, like I've done some with like an arrow detail and a feather detail, and then I just do a solid beaded. Oh. And so it's it's like so boho chic, and it's just they're so cute. Yeah, but I want to go back and reinforce this for our, our, our audience and stuff because your stuff is beautiful, and I am a jewelry yes. whore, okay? I am a jewelry yeah. whore, okay? Me too. <laughs> I've got tons of beaded necklaces, and I have a good friend that does wire wrapping and, and things of that nature, and I'm always buying jewelry. I just love it because of the energy that goes in because all my stuff has natural stones and stuff. And that's what I want to stress here is that you're not just selling something that makes people look good or goes with an outfit. Right. You have a very strong knowledge of the stones or as my friend says, rocks, they're rocks. <laughs> 
beautiful, I would say beautiful and purposeful. Yes, and you understand that the energy, because some things don't work well together, and then other things can really amp it up. I actually had a friend that made me a bracelet, and I swear to God, every time I put it on, I almost pass out from the energy. I mean, it oh, is wow. just, you know, it is a high. You know, and, and I love it, but I can't wear it out when I'm working because, good Lord, you don't think I have a filter now? Wait till that. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> I love it. That's just dangerous. You know? I seem to throw in one more thing. You also have a depression bracelet, and I think I right now a lot of people yes. are having issues either with anxiety or depression. Yes. I want to make sure they know that can be ordered as well. Yes. Yeah, I actually just, um, I sent one, and somehow it got lost in the mail, so I have to make another one. A friend of mine from high school um, is uh, separated from her husband, and she and her daughter just, they, they moved, and they're just going through a lot right now. And so um, so I sent her kind of a care package with some earrings to make her feel pretty, and a purposeful bracelet, and I sent her daughter some stuff. And um, So can you combine a couple of things, like let's say, uh, I want to have a, a bracelet. And let's just say I want it to to make them feel better through self-esteem. I want them to feel grounded, and I want them to feel uplifted so they don't feel de depressed. Can you do a bracelet Absolutely. that addresses those things? Yes. So what yeah, would like? I can. I mean, some of them, some of the bracelets. I mean, I'll do the majority how white. So it's the majority white, and then I just do plop, 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 just a few stones that are purposeful on top. Other people like it to be all different colors and, you know, that kind of thing. So, I mean, everything is customizable. I want people who, you know, who make my, who buy my stuff to, to really love it and love it as much as I enjoy making it. I always tell people, my stuff is made with genuine stone materials and a whole lot of love. And that's, you know. Well, and that's very evident. And when you look at it, if you've ever attended, I've attended the events where you've been in. And oh, she does events. It's amazing, it's beautiful. When Thank you, you. Talk about it. It it really shows in your words and your in your re, your reflection of yourself you. in that work. And so I've really been impressed with that. And what I really like about yours, not everybody can do this, but it is so knowledgeable about those stones. And they're not just making bracelets and selling them. They're teaching people yeah. what the stones do. They, you know, they like you said. I, I have all my little cards that came with my bracelets to tell mm -hmm. me what stones are on there and what it's for. And it, it's really helpful for for people to, to have that so they know what day they need to wear this bracelet for that emotion. Right. One of the things I um uh I see going on right now is a lot of uh, also male energy changing and um, even if. Some men won't wear a bracelet, maybe that bracelet sitting next to their bedside. Because I've done this with my husband yeah. before. He didn't tell him I was doing it, but I set stones on his bedside mm -hmm. to help with the energy. Put it in their underwear. Put it in their yeah. underwear. <laughs> so, my, so my husband wears, my husband wears um, one of my bracelets. He wears a, a smoky quartz with a single blue lace agate. Oh. He's actually helped design, you know, when we, whenever I first started, it was, after the kids go to bed, let's just sit down and just play and see what we come up with. And a couple times he was like, hey, uh, can I, I can sit down and, you know, and hang out and make something? And I was like, of course you can. Come on. Oh, you, honey, yes. But that sounds, that sounds yeah. stunning. The smoky quartz with that blue. Oh, my. If they don't want to wear them, just sit next to their bed. Yeah. And they can always put it in their pocket. I mean, it's oh, right. that's true. You know, that's one of the things I don't have. You put in your bra. Tell them. Yeah. Uh, anyway, no. You don't? I like, it. I like it right between the girls. You know, right there by the heart. There's a reason for it. Right there by the heart. There is. I do it in the pocket because I'll forget they're in there and I'll take that bra off and it's like a rock convention. Everything starts falling out. <laughs> And the thing that I noticed when I did that is that some of the pieces would break, and that's not what I'm, I don't want to right. do. Oh, no. I want to protect them. So they're in, you know, I've got the, the pouch. But men can be funny about wearing jewelry. I mean, they can. Yeah. But you can make jewelry. it look real masculine. I can. And yeah, I mean. I for the men are awesome. I like masculine jewelry. I wear masculine jewelry sometimes. I'll order. Well, I, I had, I think it was. Last Christmas or the Christmas before, um, a couple of my friends, they ordered some stuff for their 
for their husbands or boyfriends. And one lady, she said, do you have any lion beads? And I said, no, but I'll get some. They were so stinking cool. I mean, it was just, it was literally a bead with just a lion head. Mm -hmm, those are great. For whatever reason, that was significant to them. I did another one. Um, a friend, Actually, a friend of my, my mom's, her husband found these bracelets that were $60 a piece. And it was a set of two. And they were so delight and um, obsidian. And they had skull beads. And they were so, I recreated that thing for a fraction of the cost. And it looks so cool. And, you know, it's like, you don't have to, you know. So. Well, I'm looking on here right now, and that hematite skull is yes. awesome. So, and he, I'm hematite jealous. Heavy, I can't get on the right But now. it's good for men. Yes. Oh, this is fabulous. This is fabulous. Well, I want to stress this point for you, because you, I don't think you're really taking enough credit for your talent. Because, you know, <laughs> You're not just designing the jewelry, as I said earlier, but you're also doing a consultation on this customization and you're giving them information that they can use over and over and over. So like if you design something and you have the rose quartz for the love and this for this and this for this, they now can also look for those similar things when they buy other jewelry at other places. Yes to perpetuate that. So you're, you're bestowing upon them a piece of knowledge that is, if they use properly, it's life changing. It really yeah. is because my jewelry yeah. does a lot for me besides make me yeah. look beautiful, yes. but you know, it's it really, so your, your, your consultations themselves are worth money. Even if you never put a bead on a bracelet, just the Absolutely. consultation, you know? Absolutely. Well, and, and I honestly, I, I don't even charge. I mean, I don't even factor in. I know you don't. Because, uh, you know, two years ago, there was a company my husband bought me a bracelet from. He bought me more of a cup. But they sell, they, they're still in business. They sell beaded elastic stone bracelets that are super, super cool. But they were 25 to $30 a bracelet. And I was like, that, and they don't even touch on the stone's properties. Mm -mm. How the stone yeah. can benefit you. It's purely fashion. So if I can offer the same product for a better price point and give you the knowledge, like I said, beauty and purposeful. I mean, that's that's kind of that's my 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 mission, if you will. Well, I am going to manifest a chain of stores for you. Coming up, yes. Don't forget Mother's Day is coming up. Yes, this would be the perfect personalized yes. gift for mom. This is personalized. Well, Are Mother's Day is coming up. And my, and my birthday's coming up a week later, so I'm going to gift <laughs> myself. Perfect. Because that's the only way I ever get, I get, I get my gifts the way I like them if I do them myself. And then I tell my husband, thank you for letting me do me that. Too. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you get the perfect gift. I love doing that. I love being able to choose those kinds yeah. of things. I also want to throw in one more thing. The, the way that you take payment is just, it goes on forever. I mean, PayPal, GPay. Apple Pay, huh? MasterCard, American Express, Zelle, Venmo. I love Zelle. Yeah. Yeah. You want to drop a check underneath my front porch mat? I mean, <laughs> whatever. And she takes cash too, people. Cash. Mean, it's not, you know. Homing pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Look for that bird. Here it comes. Yeah, you want to come, come clean the house? I'll give you five <laughs> bracelets. You know, I mean. Hey. Oh yeah, my I'd god. I'd love to buy those five bracelets to have somebody come over and do my house. I'm seriously. I did not know that you I didn't know that you were PJ's daughter. She did a great yes. job raising you. Thank <laughs> you. My, my, my mom literally is the best person, like the best woman, I mean, ever. She has just given me so many just I mean, like I have my I think I get my servant's heart from her. Um, her and my dad both instilled a really great work ethic in me and my sister, um, cause I also work full time as an administrative assistant or executive assistant. Um, and so I do this at night or on the weekends or, you know, whatever. So, um, but yeah, no, she's my mom. Is, I do and that. Amy helps with quite a bit and Mimi, uh, it's Mimi, right? She calls uh -huh. Mimi. Yes. Mimi said, hi, Amberly, Amy. <laughs> Yeah, any my kids love to make bracelets with me. Um, so let's see them. Let's see them. This is Annie. Hi. She's very talented too. 
too. She loves to share her they, uh, angel cards. They she, love to make bracelets too. I want to know what she's eating. It looks good. She, <laughs> yes, you can go finish your lunch. Uh, <laughs> she's eating broccoli and ranch. <laughs> Leave me alone. I want to go eat, okay? <laughs> Hi, sweetie. But yeah, no, we, it's, it's a family affair for sure. We love to sit around the table, and um, if I have to go buy materials, of course, they're like, can I have to get a spray on too? Oh, so I have a I whole... I like making these. You like making these. I bet you do, and I bet you're good at it, too. Absolutely. She is. She is. Absolutely. So. Well, I'm, I'm going to order some, and when I do, you make sure that you give your approval on them when your mom designs them. <laughs> I will tell her that. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, this, well, I'm excited. So I just want to go shopping now. We, we have posted on the Spiritual Neighborhood page your, your email address. <laughs> Sorry. She is a hoop, y'all. <laughs> Well, I almost reached up there to take it from her. I mean, it's like, oh my God, we're on TV. Oh my gosh, she, she's a firecracker. That is awesome. This is the lunch bunch. So, yeah. Give me a bite. We thank her. Thank her. We will take it. Absolutely. Bless you. Thank you for thinking of us. We have your contact information on yep. our spiritual website. But say it now. Tell everybody what it is. Everything. Absolutely. So my website is beadedbench.com. Good name, and good name. I'm, and then I'm also on Facebook and Instagram as Beaded Bench. Um, I take custom orders. You can private message me on social media. You can email me beadedbench at gmail.com. Um, and yeah, I look forward to, to making some more beautiful stuff for you guys. I look forward to oh, buying it. <laughs> that website. It is absolutely fabulous. Thank really you. Buying jewelry is one of the few things I don't resent giving money away I love for. That. I hate difficult things to, to go through. It's just very specific. It's very user friendly, people. Mm -hmm. User friendly. Yeah, we're good. Look at me trying to look around the corner. Good Lord. <laughs> She's right here. So I'm just going to open her casket. Oh, cool. You're, well, thank you all for having me on. This was so fun. I was kind of nervous, but. I'm so glad that we were able to, to connect and um, and that y'all, you know, want to share my small business. And, um, well, when you get special projects or something new come up, call us and let us know and we'll have you back yeah. on. To, okay. You know? That would be great. Yeah, and, um, and I have some ideas I want to talk to you about because, you know, we're going to be doing meetups and events and things when we get right. out of this quarantine. And I would love to have you as a participant and uh, participating vendor. I love doing vendor events. So, it's so fun. So, so yeah. a lot of ideas. This would be great. This would be great. All right. And also, you you know, you didn't make me do anything to strain my neck or anything, so I'm real happy. <laughs> <laughs> she was well behaved. She was well behaved, Sarah. So, today is a purpose. <laughs> It wasn't on purpose. Yeah, okay. It was not on purpose. Okay. I was just so enthralled and I'm so excited about shopping. The calming effect. Your bracelets work. Yeah. 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 It's the howl light. Work. It's the howl light. Yeah. It's got to be the howl light. Whatever it was. Thank you. Oh, and that was my other question. Do you ever make earrings with lever back attached, you know, instead of the hoop? Because I, I lose my earrings if they're not lever backs. I haven't, but I can look into it. If you do, let me know because that's the only yeah. kind of earrings I can buy because I lose them yeah. otherwise. Okay. Definitely. All right. Thank you, sweetie. I am so glad that I got to Thank meet you. Thank you so much. This was so fun. Seriously, fun. Thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Really do appreciate you. you. Give Have the, a great day, Sarah. You too. Give the baby a hug. I Oh my god. I'm so excited. I gotta buy something now. <laughs> I've got oh. well the, the site is absolutely unbelievable. And I didn't mention this because I just have started to scroll down to another point. Um she also does pride bracelets. So there's pride bracelets on here. Yeah, there's picture jasper, uh lava stones, just solid lava stones all the way around. 
What a great, what a great tool that'd be. You know what I need? I need a cougar bracelet. <laughs> I was cougar before cougar was cool. Yeah. My my husband's twelve years younger than I am. I'm a cougar. <laughs> you do that really well. <laughs> I know. For me to be a dog person, I have that down. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's been a day. Well, I just what a great what a great this was just a great day all the way around. What I love I love her energy. Her energy is just fabulous. And seriously, for people who have done really good deeds in your life and you want to say thank you, I mean what a great Christmas present. I love things that are personalized though, don't you? I do too. I it means a lot to me. Almost it does. It means Store Almost everything in my house that's decorative or artwork wise has been given to me or I purchased from a friend's sale. But almost everything in here is related to a personal relationship I had. That's yeah. why it's in my house, you know. And most, yeah. you know, most of the things I have are like that because otherwise it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't have the depth of meaning. But I just wanted to hug her and I'm not a hugger, you know. She is a lot of her mom. I don't know PJ. I look forward to meeting her mom then because I don't really know. Have you ever met PJ? If I have, it's just been in passing, casual somewhere. I, at least I'm hoping so. I'm hoping I haven't met her well, somewhere and offended her. You should um, come to the uh, the cards and coffee she does on Saturdays online. You can meet her that way until you can get out and meet her in person. I can on Saturdays, baby. That's and, you that, know, I got people, something you going know, her on. Stepdad is the cowboy psychic, Steve Spur. I don't know if y'all met yeah. him. Yeah. That's no, I made that connection when you said all that, but but I don't think I know them. I don't. I don't. Oh, I got I've been to one of Steve's galleries. He is amazing yeah. people. He yeah, his amazing. story about how he became a, a, a psychic medium is amazing. I would love well, we've got to get them on here. I got I got two teasers for everybody. You want me to tease you? You want to be teased? Oh, go ahead. Martha, Martha, you know, is coming back next month and she's going to be broadcasting on our interview from the haunted house in Mineral Wells. Ooh, and I, and, and, wow. and here's what I wanted to suggest. I told her I might go with her. Why don't we all go with her? Oh, I would love to. It, let's look at, can we do that? I don't know. If let's look and see how the quarantine curve is working, and if it's not, if if, if we're in a, if, if we're working in a in a good way, then that would be something for. Us. If not, we can do it later. We can do it at a later date. But what she plan on doing that? It's the last part of May, so maybe well, the. We may be, we'll see. Like the ability at twenty nine cents. I mean, literally the end of May. Well, let's just see. Let's just see how that works. Wouldn't that be fun? I would love to go. No, I'm just, I would love to go and take some of my, uh, the, some of the gear. And you've got your um, dowsing rods. I've got my cake shooter. Oh, my gosh. I got them right here on my desk. I actually do like an online. Yes. Yes. My oh husband my makes God. these for me. My He actually, so we're going to do a, a thing on dow. Oh, my God. They're going crazy. Look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God! Oh, look at you! I saw on one of the spiritual normal uh, paranormal groups on TV that you can download an app to your cell phone and use for voice recording. Yeah. For EF. Oh yeah, they got all kinds of stuff for the phone. I don't know how good they are, but. Um, well, they say not to know uh, the digital. The best. The basic digital is the best. Basic digital. Okay. Is I don't. On off record. That's. I mean, <clears throat> um, Chuck and I do the, you know, ghost talk show. Somebody said in a question to ask him, what's the best recorder that you could possibly use? And he said, make it the basic, the one that's got the on, off recording. That's it. You don't have to worry about putting it over here or over there. Because that's, that's, but you have to tell them to talk into it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Speak yeah. clearly yeah. into the microphone. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but the crap on my into the microphone. crap on my no, desk is going nuts. You do. What's our next freebie, Deborah? 
Oh, um, the the other teaser is is that we have our first virtual event scheduled. I created it on the Spiritual Network page and also on Meetup. It is the last part of May. People, it's free. You will never ever see three people in a room doing a gallery for free ever again like this. I promise you. <laughs> ever. Ever. Okay. So it's the three of us. It's going, uh, the ticket list says 45. The room on Zoom will actually hold up to, to 100, but there's no way that we can manage that well. Um, but it is open for people to go ahead and uh, RSVP. We are asking that if you feel so moved to donate $10 to the Council of Families, because they are our corporate sponsor, for lack of a better word, uh, it will be Gail, it will be Elizabeth, and it will be me. And we will be offering intuitive insights. It is a gallery. I don't know how else to put it. It's a gallery. What, babe? What? What? No, I'm not saying yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so it's I already... Know. I don't know. It's a dowsing rod. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, they're going nuts. Look at this. Look at this. So they're, they're going nuts. not guaranteeing all 45 people to get a message. No. We can't get as much as out as we can in the time we'll be on. But, you, but it is a gallery. And you, can't, you can't get three people in a room to do a gallery basically for free. So... Anyway, we're going to do the dowsing rods one day. The, the, they're, the, my energy is off the charts today, I'll just tell you that. And the dowsing rods are showing that. You're being well behaved right now. Well, I'm trying. Oh, um, i got to tell you guys, I jinxed me and my husband. You remember I told you the other day that we used to have issues with our electricity going out? Uh -huh. Guess what? Yesterday I'm in my bedroom getting ready to watch TV at like 7.35, 40, 7.45. And I hear this boom. And then the whole house goes dark. Yeah. Can you believe that? The, the, well, what they said is that probably some snake or something got up in there and it blew the transformer thing, whatever. But they had to go out here in our back field and climb a pole and replace the fuse or something. But That's weird. An That's weird. That is so yeah. weird. I mean, like, I told my husband, I was just telling them on Zoom yesterday or today that or I don't know, it was just here or the day before I came with you guys, that we hadn't had that happen in a long time. And yesterday, boom. I'm so wow. glad I won the lottery. I'm so glad I have mailbox money. <laughs> I'm so glad I have a new automobile. Wow, well, let's see. I'm so glad I'm really thin. I'm so glad I got that taken care of. Let's just throw that out there. I mean, it's so really glad I have a beach house on the beach in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. No. Why not? Yes. Throw that out there. I'm so glad there's a cure for this virus. I'm so glad that everybody is okay. I'm so I'm so glad the planet's re reset itself. All right, I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna cover it all in one statement. I am glad that I have everything I want and I need and more. Absolutely, and from many and all sources. Mm-hmm. So. Anyway, um, I do want to say this about the dowsing rods. I want people to understand this. My, both my grandfathers used dowsing rods to find things because they were farmers. Um, yeah. I use them to find things. I use them to help me to identify energies when I'm cleaning houses. I also use them to answer questions. They can answer questions, yes, no, uh, and if you ask the questions right, you know, to where they're either or, you know, not, you know, either or, then they can answer questions as well. And uh, what got me involved in actually using dowsing rods, because I'd, I'd heard that my one grandfather had used them and actually saw my other grandfather use them. I was at a paranormal conference with Martha <laughs> several years ago. Uh, one that George Jones used to do in Tyler and this guy was selling dowsing rods and he couldn't do anything with them. I'm like, dude, why are you selling something you don't know anything about? And I picked them up. He oh. goes, and I've never had a pair of dowsing rods in my hands ever. And he goes, well, how would you use them? I said, okay, clear. 
show me what yes is. And they crossed and I said, clear, show me what no is. And they went and they threw their legs apart like a woman on a pole. And I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> So anyway, that was my introduction to dowsing rods. <laughs> and and I've had people I've had people accuse me of moving them, but I, what they are they're just bent copper rods with a with a pole or a, a column, and you can see they just move freely. My holding my hand here, and they just move freely, you know. So. And I'll ask it a question and, you know, I clear it after each question. And I'm telling you what, I've done some powerful things. We had a leak in our house that they couldn't find. And I found it with the, leak, with the dousing rod. And, and the plumber left and, and called us. Well, yeah, they used dousing rods to find water so they could dig wells. Water? They, they used it for finding gold? Known yes. The guy you know, called. Wasn't there a certain tree? Wasn't there a certain um, tree? I think it was Willow. I think it was Willow Forks. Was it? I think so. I'd have to yeah, research that. Literally see it bend down. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally that would It would be a Y shape. The and that, that's the way my grandfather yeah. did it. He was a sharecropper, and that's what he did to find water. This guy, I, he, had, yeah. he had really hacked me out. He called his boss. He said he wasn't coming back to my house. He said I was a witch. <gasps> Yeah, well, we know that. <laughs> I'm a bitch, not a witch. Let's get that straight. You said witch, too. There's something new here. I am not a witch. I'm a bitch. Let's clarify this for the world. <laughs> yes, I, I got it. I got it. That was not nice. Okay. Okay, so we need to wrap this up so people can finish doing what they're doing. So Yeah, because we have nothing else to do. Going on, a, on this, this this haunted thing. Yeah, that, let's see if we can make that happen, you know? And um, I want to thank the people that have written us so far with their questions, and I hope that uh, yes. our answers and responses are something that are helpful. Oh, because Andy Molina, I think, is it Molina? Says thank you, Lady Molina, in my email. Okay. Yeah, good. Molina, I think it's Molina. Good. Yeah. Good. So... We, we send you a lot of love, Candy. We, we're really praying for you. We support you, and we hope that things work out for you. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Love and light. Absolutely. We're sending it. And break the energy as well. It is a, I mean, we're, we're using a, com a combination of the, we're looking at it as the Holy Trinity. You know, anytime people come together in, in the three, that's like a Holy Trinity. So that energy is being sent. There it so, is. There it is. Yeah, absolutely. So... Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing your time and energy with us at the Spiritual Neighborhood Lunch Munch. We are a community project of the Council of Families for Children. To contact any of the hosts, Elizabeth Gale or Deborah, email us at spiritualneighborhood at gmail.com. And don't be shy to ask to be a guest on our show. Until we eat again, it is lunch right. Be safe and stay whole. Love and light, everybody. Thanks for joining.